You know what is Om Dhamma? There are a lot of spiritual or religious people. Their emphasis is on what? Outward appearances and a form Dhamma. Understand? Oh, you must not uh, create huh, that type of uh, defilement that arise. So the form Dhamma, they will actually blame others. No? You wear too short your skirt above the knee, they will say, this one caused lust and temptation to the man. That's why all the rape and all those things happen. Then at the form level, we say, hey, I'm vegetarian. No? At the form level, you try to be vegetarian. You say you are very compassionate. No? Compared to a person who is without vegetarian. Hui Neng, when he was in a hunter, what did he take? Ro Bian Chai. You mean he is less spiritual than you? The animal, the herbivorous cow and the horse, they eat grass. So. Understand? Uh? They don't eat meat. No. But you take the cattle's meat. No. What are you trying to do? It's not what you eat that makes you spiritual. Understand? It's the training of the mind. Understand this. Without wisdom, without awareness, you cannot be spiritual. You cannot be holy. Like I always say, without mindfulness, you can't even keep the precept. You understand? So form Dhamma is not important. You have to go at least to mind Dhamma. So the mind Dhamma is also thought-based. Understand? Then you have to go to the true mind Dhamma, which is awareness base. That is the one that liberates you. So don't be trapped at form Dhamma. Understand? That's why you know why they categorize it this way, you know. Outwardly, don't try to be spiritual. Inwardly, when you have developed the awakening and the wisdom, that is the real spirituality within you. Okay? Yeah.